Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about animal food storage. Now, a lot of us go through periods where we don't have a whole lot of money and so we're going and buying our animal feed one bag at a time or a few bales at a time and that is probably not a horrible thing to do. However, uh, going into winter, I really feel like it's important to have a winter's worth of food for your animals on your farm. That The reason being, it doesn't have to be some kind of like national emergency or anything like that. It could just be that the roads get blocked. What if there's a blizzard that blows through? Um, if you, like I have farmers that live across the road, so I could probably go over and get a few bales of hay, but I don't have a granary across the road, and so if I needed food for my chickens, I would be having to take it out of my own food storage in order to feed them if we had something like a blizzard come through. Now, for me, I don't worry about blending grains. I just feed my uh, my goats and my poultry uh, whatever grain happens to be the least expensive that year. I like to store it whole. This year, I could only get it um, crushed. And I don't like that as much because I feel like it loses some of its nutritional value. However, it was bagged. If I go to a feed mill and they just fill up the back of my pickup, then I have to find a way to store it over the winter. So I. I prefer to have it bagged. I pay four dollars per 50 pound bag for my grain and then and and if you can get multiple grains that have all been uh, crunched up in different bags and then just mix them you could totally do that. I mean when you get retail poultry feed at the grocery at the um, feed store that's all that is is it's just multiple grains have been put in a bag and some of them do have uh, supplemental vitamins um, but I won't get into that here. Uh, you're going to pay about $18 a bag if you're getting it at the retail feed store. And um, will it cause them to lay more eggs? Maybe. Will it cause them to lay harder eggs with harder shells? I don't think so. Um, okay, so that's grain. And so I store about three quarters of a ton of grain in my garage. And it takes up an amazingly small amount of space. And um, if you are someone who likes to store things in buckets, you could probably even just store it in your storage room with your own food. I don't like to store it in bags in my storage room because um, animal grade feed ha can have uh, stones, dirt, even pesticide residue. If it's for human consumption, they test it for the pesticide residue to make sure they're not poisoning people. And with the animal feed, they don't necessarily test it the same way. You don't want to use animal feed um, in your wheat grinder. It will have rocks in it. If it's animal, if it's human approved, it won't have rocks in it, so it won't break your wheat grinder. So that's your poultry. For your other animals, like your um, goats, I would suggest having enough hay on hand to see them through the winter. I have hay, enough hay on hand to be able to see them through until May because it will be May before we have a reliable amount of grass in our pastures. Our, our season starts very slow because we have a very late uh, frost free date. Our frost free date is June 15th. So we have to go a long ways. And by buying it all at the same time, even with hay, generally you get it for a better price. The same goes for salt licks or um, what else do I keep for my animals? Uh, if you need a water heater that you plunk into their water, um, it's good to have that before the really cold weather sets in. We don't use one. I just haul hot water twice a day because for one thing I have my animals in different pens and I can't afford to run that many heaters. And for the other thing, it is a reason to get up and move and, and get out of the house. I'm trying to think if I store anything else. At this time of year, I like to stockpile pumpkins and feed them a lot of pumpkins here in the fall. They go to the chickens, the ducks, the rabbits, the goats, they go to everybody. And they're also a natural parasite cleanse. Um, and that's pretty much it. We, we, we're pretty simple when it comes to what we feed our animals. We don't really go into all the bells and whistles of premixed feed or specialized feed for specialized animals. We don't get goat grain that's $20 a bag. 
we don't get pig feed that's $25 a bag. We feed them whole grain. We cook it according to what breed they are and we add things into it according to what breed they are, but we try to keep it really uh, affordable. So for the winter, it cost $85 to buy all the grain. For the milk grain that I give to the goats and also for the scratch for the chickens and for the ducks. So I would, I would suggest taking inventory of your animals, all the feeds that you need, and try to find them in their whole source, because whole form, because they will keep better as whole grains than they will as chopped grains. And um, salt licks, hay, uh, and make sure to keep it tarped so it's not turning moldy and, and getting wasted. And we will talk to you later.